Hello, I'm Randy here, and today we are looking at the latest in eye tracking technology. This is the Toby Eye Tracker 4C. This is the uh, latest Toby Eye Tracking model. Uh, for those of you who know, I currently have the Toby IX Eye Tracker, and this is the latest, greatest here. Uh, apparently, supports head tracking as well, so we're going to be looking at that. Uh, one way to uh, think about this. You got your keyboard, your mouse, your steering wheel, and now you have a fourth input device that allows you to track your eyes. And for those of you who know, for the last, I think the past year or so, I've had the uh, Toby IX eye tracker, and uh, really, really adds to at least a farming simulator, anyway, in my opinion. Uh, farming Simulator 17 here natively supports eye tracking. So let's uh, take a look at this and uh, see what's, what's in the box and get it set up and uh, see what's, how it works. Okay, let's open up the box here and see once what's inside. Um, I'm assuming it's very similar here to the current eye tracker. And uh, just a disclaimer to let you folks know that I did get this for free. They sent me this to uh, check out. So we're going to do that. Um, I was actually considering getting this anyway, but uh, seeing as how they sent it to me for free, I'm not going to complain. So there we go. There's the new Toby 4C eye tracker. Looks like it's a little narrower than the current one. Oh, I see. The cable is wrapped around it there. And one nice thing about this one, at least for my setup anyway, it supports USB 2.0. Uh, for those of you who know, I do have some issues with the uh, 3.0 ports on my computer, so this should be much nicer. Uh, looks like we got mounting brackets. Uh, we got two of them. So two mounting brackets. I guess if you screw one up or if you want to move it between different monitors, you can do that. I'm assuming it'll sit on the current one here. We'll find out. Okay, let's see if this will fit on the current mount here or not. I'm not sure if it will or not. Uh, this is just magnetically mounted, by the way, for those of you wondering. And that is the current Toby IX eye tracker. Yes, it actually will. Uh, looks like the cable actually comes out of the other side and goes that way. That shouldn't be a problem, whereas this one is mounted on the left side. And for those of you who are wondering what eye tracking is, it simply tracks the movement of your eyes. And in the case of Farming Simulator here, allows you to look around the game. Um, you can also use it on your desktop to uh, control your mouse, as well as many other games as well. Okay, so we're going to set this up here. And I'm not sure if we're going to have to install any new software here or not. Obviously, I've got the current version for the current the eye tracker I currently have installed. I've got it mounted up here. We're simply just going to plug this in. And apparently, one reason we can use USB 2.0 now, um, this eye tracker actually has a processing unit on it that allows it to do the processing rather than having to offload everything to the computer. So let's see what's there. Do we have an eye tracker connected? Okay, so we need to set up the display here. We're just going to click on that and see what's what happens here. Uh, one thing to notice right off the bat with the new one, you don't see the blinking red lights anymore. At least for me anyway, they didn't blink. The camera obviously will show them as blinking just because of the refresh rate. Okay, let's see. We are on, yes, this display. And we simply need to line up this line with the line on the eye tracker here. So one right in there somewhere and one right in there somewhere I guess that's it that was uh, pretty quick and uh, painless okay so we're loaded into uh, farming simulator 17 here just to demonstrate the uh, Toby eye tracker here um, you can see my hands are not touching the uh, keyboard and as I'm looking around uh, hopefully you can see too very responsive Actually, I would say significantly more responsive than the old Toby IX eye tracker was. Uh, this one seems to be much faster at looking around. And again, like I said, we're just doing this. I'm just looking, folks. I'm not pants, not touching the mouse, not touching the keyboard. We are just uh, looking around. Um, really adds an extra dimension to the game, if you ask me. You know, as when playing with a keyboard and a mouse. You can now look around and still be doing something else with your mouse and keyboard. Now it doesn't look like the head tracking here necessarily functions in the game. I'm going to have to look into that. I'm not sure if that uh, works with this uh, particular game or not. 
I know they said the uh, head tracking here for the uh, eye tracker 4C is still sounds like in beta yet, so they might still be working on that feature. In addition to that, uh, I'm not sure, like I said, if Farming Simulator actually supports that or not. So anyway, you folks are probably getting a little uh, dizzy right about now. Like I said, it really looks around quickly, which personally I like. I like it to look around quickly. You know, normally I can look around really quickly with a mouse, and uh, being able to do so, just my eye movement is pretty cool. And of course, like I said, folks, you can use this for other applications as well. Um, you can use it to control your mouse movements. You can have your mouse pointer, you know, go all the way around the screen. Um, I may have to give that a try again. Uh, see what's how that works here with the new eye tracker. And uh, for those who are wondering, I will have information in the uh, description below for this uh, eye tracker. Uh, if folks want to check that out, um, like I said, they did send this uh, particular one to me for free to check out and uh, to show you guys. And I've absolutely, absolutely loved my uh, previous eye tracker. And I believe the current one here, currently $149. On the uh, Toby right. eye tracking website, I'm sure you could probably get this from other websites as well. But I'll put uh, information in the uh, description below. And if folks would like to check that out, make sure you uh, take a look at this. Uh, definitely a pretty cool uh, technology. I'm sure we'll probably be seeing more of this in the uh, future here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what's what they come out with next. But anyway, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.